everybody, it's Ryan with Rigs of Death Metal. Today we got something a little different for you. Instead of a pedal demo or anything like that, we're going to be checking out some drum MIDI. Uh, this is the Drums Against Humanity from Ugertone. Let's check it out. This is gonna be a little unorthodox. Wasn't able to get the whole uh, screen capture voiceover thing, you know, hundred percent there. So I'm just gonna do it kind of old school and you know a little rough here. Um, so this is the actual uh, Drums Against Humanity window here. Um, I won't do a step-by-step -step tutorial of everything you need to do. There's plenty of other videos like that out there. Uh, if you're even somewhat familiar with Reaper or, you know, any other DAW. Track, virtual instrument on the track, select your VST plugin, boom, you get this. This is what you're greeted with. There are several sets of kits uh, to select from, which obviously, uh, went with this one here. This is just your default, so I left it at that. Um, you can select output routing, so I went ahead and did uh, you know, Mega Mix 16 outputs. Um, you can do any combination that you choose here, but um, you can really tweak everything whenever you pull up the mix window. Um, when you select the different uh, kit, I don't even know if it's really different kits or really just different mixing settings. Uh, probably different mixing settings. Sorry. Anyway, we'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, it doesn't animate or anything like that. You can sit here and kind of demo out the different tones, but uh, there's nothing nothing to view here, um, which, you know, you don't need to. I mean, what's, it's kind of cool, but it doesn't really serve any real purpose for what we're trying to do, right? So we'll go ahead and close that out. We already have everything assigned. The, the track is already done. Um, this right here, this track, is your MIDI track. And this is, uh, you, if nothing else, you can do just this if you're just writing. I just chose to do all the additional tracks because I want a little bit more control over the mix, which I'm sure you will get into eventually as well. See? with your kick, your snare, you get the idea. 
Um, now, one thing that the Uger Tone stuff does not have built in that, you know, your tune track stuff would is a built in way to demo out, um, you know, your various uh, MIDI performances. You know, samples of the actual tones, MIDI is the performance itself for those that are just kind of getting into this. So, uh, if you have Reaper, which I'm sure every DAW has their own workaround for this, but we'll go with specifically Reaper for now because that's what I'm using. Um, you are able to go to View, and where is it? Media Explorer is what it's called, which I already have it up. You can go down here where you can toggle between the mixer and Media Explorer. Um, you can go over here, which I have all my MIDI in my hard drive here. Voila. Wherever you store all your MIDI files on your computer, that's where you need to go. And uh, you can just kind of select from everything here. This is specifically all the uh, Ugratone MIDI packs that I use. Um, I say in the black metal and death metal and doom ones a lot. Um, recently used a lot of the grindcore stuff. Um, let's go ahead and go in here, grindcore. Nope, oh, hang on, give the computer a second. It's trying to process. Guy had to love technology. But yeah, see? So. So it's kind of like your own little media player down here built into your DAW. And uh, let me see here. As long as you're like uh, selected onto the track here, and you literally can just drag and drop into your window, and boom, there's your drum track. Uh, super, super simple. Yeah. Um, saves a lot of time. For sure. And, you know, I don't have a, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not big on the whole, uh, key roll or whatever. I don't have a MIDI controller or anything like that. Um, for me, all the MIDI packs, they're just drag and drop. I mean, obviously I'll edit them, like trim them down, adjust them to whatever BPM, uh, maybe even change velocity and things like that. And experiment with the tones. I'm, I'm more just, writing at home, trying to get something knocked out as quick as possible. Um, when I've actually worked on a finished EP or, you know, working towards a full mixed and mastered EP to release under my own name, obviously I spent way more time uh, mixing the tones, but even still with the performances, um, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot. Uh, it's it's MIDI drums. You can only do so much. There's, and especially with death metal, where everything's supposed to sound robotic and people sample replace like crazy anyway, and uh, have since like Morbid Angel days. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, more sound studios and, and guys like that were doing very early sample replacing at at very least for the kick drums and maybe even snare. But all right, so. There's your little look-see. All right, you got to hear it, you got to see it. Let's talk about it. Um, not too much else to say that we haven't already gone through in our little uh, a little look-see. Um, I made a, uh, a post just talking about how much I'd love to check out Drums Against Humanity because I've I've used MIDI drums for writing at home for years now. Just I still use Easy Drummer too. Um, year or two ago, I want to say at least a couple years ago, I bought a, uh, an almighty MIDI pack or something like that from Ugertone. And it just, as you saw, it's a library of different MIDI performances and different styles of metal and punk and hardcore and stuff like that. 
Um, and I've, uh, I, I do believe I do have cult drums, maybe even cult drums too. I can't remember. And it was fun to experiment with, but I mean, ultimately I would just use the MIDI files in conjunction with easy drummer two. I would just drop them in and, uh, and you know, love the results. Um, plus it's way more affordable than a lot of the tune track stuff. Not, you know, not that there's anything wrong with tune track. Um, Uger Tone is just a, a great alternative, and you can get a lot more for, you know, a lot less money. That's what it's all about, right? But uh, when I made a post about Drums Against Humanity, uh, the guys at Uger Tone were gracious enough to send me over a copy. And I'm, I'm very impressed. I, I dig the tones out of the box a lot more than the uh, cult drums, which... I understand the point of the cult drums. You're going for that old school lo-fi black metal tone. Um, it's meant to sound very raw, and uh, you know, it, it definitely does. It um, it has a sound of like you're in a practice space or a garage, which is great for you know that kind of vibe. But that's not really what I go for most of the time. Um, I like. Uh, I tend to like a bigger, bigger, fuller kind of sound. Um, like Devin Townsend says, a wall of sound. That's kind of my thing. Um, not that I'm even half as good as him, uh, but you know. Um, but Drums Against Humanity is way more mix ready out of the box. Um, I wouldn't have any trouble doing, right, at least writing demos and just leaving it as is. It sounds extremely serviceable. Um, <clears throat> you could always EQ and compress, you know, a little bit more for, you know, to match kind of everything else going on in a track. Uh, it goes without saying, but yeah, they sound great. Um, I'm a huge fan of Early Behemoth and they definitely nail those tones. It definitely sounds like Inferno, uh, who's always been one of my favorite drummers, so. I was really, really stoked to see uh, anything that kind of even gave me a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I believe that as of, what is today? It is currently January 9th, 2023. And I believe that Ugertone still has a pretty awesome uh, sale going on for their all uh, almighty midi pack. Uh, I want to say 50% off. Um, but man, they, they constantly have, uh, deals and specials going on. So, uh, hit them up, um, go check out their website, uh, follow them on social media. Um, if you, if there's not a sale going on at the time of you checking this video out or checking them out, give it some time, just follow them. And, uh, I'm sure they're going to have another sale or two, uh, before the year's out. And, uh, been super great guys. And I've had some technical issues and they were incredibly gracious and, uh, kind of helping me, uh, troubleshoot a little bit. And even told me about the little trick of demoing MIDI performances in Media Explorer in Reaper, which was, God, it was a lifesaver. Um, I don't know if I, if I didn't have that little workaround, I don't know if I would have the patience to, to figure this all out otherwise um so yeah um uh, feel please check out Ugertown. um follow them on social media follow us on social media if you don't already and uh all applicable links will be down below thanks for checking it out later